So what is treasury management? For any business, there are always going to be cash inflows. A business is done to generate profits and to generate income. So there are always going to be cash inflows that are, might include sales, accounts receivable, and other income as well. Accounts receivable are customers that are going to make the payment later on and other income might become might be coming from other investments that the business has done. So these are going to be the cash inflows in an organization. And similarly, there are going to be cash outflows. So the business will have to, let's say, purchase new fixed assets or the business if they are related to importing or exporting anything that they might need foreign currency or they might simply want to invest extra cash at other places so they might buy bonds of another company or shares of another company or they might invest it in a bank so there are will be so many cash outflows as well now, who is going to manage these cash inflows and cash outflows that the right amount of cash is available at the right point of time? That is done by your treasury department and that is what we mean by treasury management. So, if we look at the definition of treasury management, it is the management of an enterprise's holdings with the goal of managing the firm's liquidity and mitigating its operational, financial, and reputational risk. So basically, treasury management deals with two main broad aspects, which include liquidity management, that means that the business should be liquid they should have enough cash to make sure that their payments are made on time because if that does not happen then the company is going to go into financial distress the company should always have money uh, to pay the suppliers at the right time and similarly if they uh, have too much cash then that means that they are not utilizing their assets properly so there should be a balance and the second task is risk management. Which is going to include operational, financial and reputational risk. We will discuss later on that what type of risks does uh, the Treasury Department deal with. So moving ahead. The role of the Treasury Department. In this video, we are going to discuss the role of the Treasury Department. So the main role is to manage the liquidity, but in order to do so, they will have to. They have many other responsibilities. For example, they will have to monitor the cash flows of the organization, which involves cash forecasting. So your Treasury Department is going to make cash forecasts so that they can see that uh, is there any cash deficiency or do they have or they are are they going to have surplus cash so based on what they understand from their cash forecast they are going to then decide whether they will have to invest the excess funds or whether they will be ha they will have to prepare for additional borrowings now investing excess funds this is an area on its own which is investment management so there are multiple tools that the treasury department can use in order to invest the excess funds but over here the main thing to remember is that the objective is not to maximize the return but the objective is to make sure that the money is not at risk and that the money is available at the right time when required so if the company, for example, requires cash in three months time, you cannot invest it in an investment that is going to give the money back in two years time, then the business is not going to have the cash at the right time. Then the third was to be prepared for additional borrowing. So based on this, 
the business has to be prepared for its financing options which are again many should the business issue shares for it should the business take money from the money market or should it go towards the capital market should they issue bonds so there are many things that go into the workings of where to get the additional borrowings from or should they just go for a bank overdraft if the amount is small then moving ahead another very important task is to safeguard the existing assets this basically involves risk management if a business has taken on loan they will have to pay interest on that loan so one aspect of the treasury department is to hedge the interest rate risk if the interest rates are going to increase then the interest expense of the business is going to increase so how are they going to manage this interest rate risk similarly if the business deals with um, international countries then another risk will be the foreign exchange risk and even the value of its assets are going to change if they are doing business in many countries. So if they have subsidiaries in many countries and the exchange rate is fluctuating, then automatically the value of the assets and liabilities is also fluctuating. So the safeguarding of existing asset means that how is the Treasury Department going to handle these risks and many other multiple types of risk as well, which we will be discussing later on then monitor internal processes and decisions this is important because internal whatever decision the business is making is going to have an impact on the cash flow as well for example uh, if the company decides to change its accounts receivable policy before that they were giving a credit of 30 days but now they've decided that they're going to give a credit of 45 days so now the treasury department should be aware of this because they need to be uh, ready for the extra cash outflow that is going to come so they will have to manage that amount of time as well so this is going to be related to your working capital management and then they also maintain key relationship with investors and lenders so your treasury department is the department that is in the middle so they are going to be in touch with the investors as well and they're going to be in touch with the lenders as well and they are also going to be uh, talking to the bankers so if you want to negotiate a new loan with a bank then your treasury department has to uh, coordinate the make the coordination between the bank and the business and similarly they are responsible for giving the information to the credit rating agencies as well so the rating that the business is going to get for its products uh, for its bonds are dependent upon the relationship that your treasury department is going to maintain Similarly, the bank's fee structure and any debt uh, granted to, by the bank and other services are all dependent upon the relationship that the organization has with the bank. Okay, so based on whatever we have discussed so far, this is an example of what a typical uh, treasurer's job description would look like. So the treasurer would report directly to the CFO and you can see that the basic function written is this position is responsible for corporate liquidity investments and risk management related to the company's financial activities the principal accountabilities are going to be forecast cash flow positions related borrowing needs and available funds for investment two is to ensure that sufficient funds are available to meet ongoing operational and capital investment requirements so the first two are again talking about that how it, they have to manage the cash and it has to be available at the right time when the business requires it third is to use hedging to mitigate financial risk related to interest rates on the company's borrowing as well as it's, it's on its foreign exchange position so they're talking about risk management over here 
then for five you can see they are talking about the banking relationship and the credit rating agency relationship so like i said that your treasury department is basically the middle person when it's come when it comes to coordinating with your investors and your lenders <coughs> and th therefore they are very important for managing the reputation of the organization then they need to arrange for equity and debt financing if they are going to go for equity or debt then investment of funds invest pension uh, funds monitor the activities of third parties handling outsourced treasury functions on behalf of the company so if they do not have a treasury department within an organization you can actually even outsource it to uh, another company that specializes in it but then of course you need to monitor it and you would still need a treasurer who has the understanding to see that the outsourced company is performing as they would like them to perform then third is to advise management on the liquidity aspects of short and long uh, range planning oversee the extension of credit to customers and maintain a system of policies and procedures that impose an adequate level of control over treasury activities so for so far whatever we have discussed about the treasury department you can see that it is being covered in this example as well so now let's talk about what is the position of a treasury within the corporate structure now the position of treasury in a corporate structure actually differs based to whether it is a small business or it is a large organization so in a small company usually there is no treasury department at all nor is it a treasurer instead the treasury responsibilities are handled by the accounting department and are under the supervision of the controller so this is an adequate situation if there are just a few bank accounts foreign exchange exposures are minor and there is no not an excessive need for investment or borrowing expertise but however as the company is going to grow these specialist uh, specialized treasury staff uh, the need for specialized treasury staff is also going to increase so this will typically begin with a treasurer who would personally handle all the responsibilities of the department and gradually more will include more specialized staff as the business keeps on growing in order to handle more complex transactions such as cash pooling and hedging so personnel are added either as the transaction volume is going to increase or when the management decides that they do need a centralized treasury operation now but once the treasurer position is created the treasurer usually reports directly to the cfo and may also be asked to deliver occasional reports to the board of directors as well similarly the treasury department is going to be at the heart of bank responsibilities as well because the structure of a bank the type of business actually of a bank is that cash is the focal point over there so there will be a lot of customers that will have current accounts as well that can withdraw money at any point uh, that they want so they have to make sure that enough cash is available for them but at the same time they are going to make investments they are going to give out the loan to other people as well so they really need to match the duration so the treasury is going to be at the heart of your bank responsibilities the branches trade risk financial institution groups consumer banking corporate banking all of the cash that is coming from there will be handled by your treasury department and then they will have to think that um, they will have to apply the same tools that we have already discussed the same type of techniques which will include cash forecasting investment management and so on um, let's look at the treasury structure if you there is a proper treasury department in a large organization the treasury department structure will look something like this so you will have the country treasurer and then you will have one head of trading and on the other side you will have head of sales in the head of trading you can see that there are different desks so you have a foreign exchange desk a money market desk and a security trading desk each uh, specializing in their own area 
and in the head of sales you have institutional and then you have corporates now the organizational setup is uh, that the treasury department can be divided into the front back and the middle office usually um, if the treasury department is not that big you just have a front office and then a back office and there is the back office also does the task of the middle office but uh, as the treasury department grows in order to keep a check and balance and to make sure that there is no fraud it is feasible to divide the functions so that each other's uh, work can be cross checked now the front uh, office basically they're going to deal uh, with the pricing analysis they are going to execute the deal and they are going to manage the cash flows whereas the middle office is going to do the task of monitoring so they're going to monitor the limits on counterparties and dealers they're going to monitor the limit on amount and tenor they're going to see that their uh, the transactions are complying with the law and they're going to check that the uh, validation of the deal then you have the back office who's going to be in charge of the bookkeeping again deal validation confirmation settlement and reconciliation so you can see that the middle and the back office they are basically um, making sure that everything is done properly and is according to the law and there is no fraud and everything should reconcile whereas the front office is the one who is going to do all of the dealing and executing of the execution of the transactions so the front office is going to be doing all of these tasks so they are going to be coordinating between the borrower and depositor they are going to be lending to the branches they are going to looking at the reserve requirement and the back office is also going to help the front office in this task and then they are also going to be doing investment they are going to be borrowing they are going to be funding again if we look at the front office function one more time so they are going to be taking the investment decisions they are going to be uh, buying and selling they will be either hedging speculating arbitraging and they will be managing the cash flows the middle office will make sure that the risk is properly managed and rating counterparties see the restriction on dealers and the restriction on counterparties and the back office is going to verify confirm settle and reconcile everything 